Hello everybody and welcome today to a brand new series on the channel on a brand new game. Today we are going to be jumping into Small Land Survive the Wilds. Now, this game just dropped today into early access um, and I am very excited to be playing it here with all of you. So without further ado, let's jump right on in. Um, and, uh, we'll just go ahead and be Cauldron as per usual, and, uh, looks like, uh, we have to start off with the most important part of any game, which has got to be character customization. And, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, the... The, the most difficult part of any game that I contend to spend a lot of time on. And I will try not to go too crazy on this. Um, and, and go through this relatively quickly. Uh, but anyway, Small Land, um, is, as, as you might guess and kind of see from the, uh, see from the little intro screen there is, uh, if you've been with my channel before, uh, it has a somewhat similar premise to Grounded and that you are surviving in a world where you are very tiny, uh, like the size of an insect. Um, and so, uh, we are, I think I might go with the full beard, um, we are going to be this little tiny creature, sort of elf looking kind of creature it looks like, um, I might come back to color on that, um, and, uh, we have to be surviving in, uh, in the world with uh, all these bugs and things that are going to be super hazardous. Now I think unlike Grounded, and it's going to be hard not to be comparing it against Grounded the whole time, um, but uh, I think that this game has things like weather and seasons as some additional hazards that we're going to have to deal with, um, but many familiar bugs will also be making a um, I think I like, you know, I think we'll go green, stay nice and earthy. Um, but yeah, from, I, I haven't really seen much gameplay. I know a few people have had some kind of early access, um, to the game, but... I have tried to kind of stay away from a lot of the playthroughs because I want to actually experience this one um, going in fairly blind. And so we are coming into this um, without a whole lot of foreknowledge. Um, I think I like that hazelnut. Let's just match that with the beard. Um... And, uh, the little I've heard have said that it's actually, gameplay-wise, not a whole lot like Grounded. Um, that really the similarity is you're small. Um, and, uh, ultimately, you know, that's, I think that that's gonna be kinda cool. Um, get a little bit of a different vibe, and that ultimately, um, the, uh, the gameplay in some ways reminds them kind of of a cross between Grounded and Valheim, and I love both of those games, and so if that ends up being true, uh, hey, that is perfectly fine by me. Um, I think we might go with this for our character. I know it's not the most exciting thing in the world, but hey. 
kind of sort of is, uh, is, is modeled after me, and uh, I think that that will work, other than, you know, I don't have gigantic ears and antenna coming out of my forehead. Um, but yeah, I think with character creation done, we should be good to jump in other than world creation. Um, let's see, we need a new world. And this will be our YouTube world. So let's create that. I don't want peace. Okay, so peaceful is not on. Online's not on. We just want our own solo survival world and start. So here we go. Oh my, that is a face. Uh, intrepid vanguards, your queen is ill, gravely ill. This is why, as your king, I am asking for your help. Venture into the overland and seek out a cure. Whatever the cost, be bold, be brave, remain vigilant. From King Valdemar's speech to the vanguard corps. Alrighty, and we are in. Um, okay, so I think I think my sensitivity is relatively okay there. I might still mess with it a bit. Uh, looks like this guy is looking for a chat right down here. But right off the bat, this is a very pretty environment. I love the lighting and stuff in here. Um, this definitely is like a very like fantasy medieval take also on kind of being miniaturized just based on the uh kind of uh, um art style which i'm definitely down with as well let's talk to sentinel virgil greetings i've been tacked with tasked with meeting all vanguards before they leave the burrows as i have critical information to impart Keep a keen eye trained for these owl effigies. They are scattered throughout the area and provide useful hints and tips to help you survive. Outside, you'll find Captain Hearn. He will help you in your first days outside the burrows. Thank you, Sentinel Virgil. And I hope that that is roughly how that guy's name is said. I have no idea on that, Captain. All right. Owl Effigy Harvesting. The Overland is rich with natural resources and food, and some can only be harvested with the correct tool. You can craft different tools to harvest natural resources. Some resources can only be ha harvested with specific types of tools, so be sure to learn the best tool for the job. Press V to engage Antenna Mode in order to help you spot harvestable resources. Okay. Ooh. Very glowy. All right, so we got twigs, sprouts, and resin. And okay, so you can't just walk over things. I kind of wish you could, but maybe that'll be a change they could make in the future. Since this is still an early access game, But we are just going to grab as much of this stuff as we can. Is any of this grass harvestable? Now that still says resin, but I think it's just because it's where... Oh, I couldn't even see that resin. I think it's like under the map. <laughs> I was still able to pick that up. Um, yeah, I think this is just showing like the spawn points, even though we cannot actually pick it up. That is interesting. Um, all right, let's see what our next owl has to say. Uh, when you examine an owl effigy, it reveals useful pieces of advice. This info is automatically logged in your compendium, which you can access at any time from the inventory menu. Press tab to open the inventory and select the compendium section to see all the hints and tips that owl effigies have already revealed to you. Seems reasonable enough. Press tab to open the inventory and select the codex to help keep track of all the workstations and items you can craft at each. You can also check on which armor sets can be crafted by which small folk once you seek them out. That's kind of cool. Uh, I already uh, pressed tab 
and Codex. Um, oh, cool. So we actually already know that the guy we're seeking out can make some armor. Hey, look, it's me. And then all these other different things will have different stuff. Nice. Let's keep on going. Oh, wait. Were there any more resources? I don't think so. I'm gonna say, all of a sudden, I'm like, wait, here's more resin. Did we miss anything? Gotta make sure that we get our maximum looting on. For those of you who may be uh, new to the channel with this new game, this new playthrough, I am most definitely a loot goblin, so I've got to get as much as I possibly can here. Uh, the Burrows. The Burrows is an extensive network of underground tunnels and caverns that is home to the small folk. The tunnels are incredibly intricate with multiple levels and branching paths that stretch for hundreds of yards in all directions. They are lit by glowing crystal lamps and makeshift torches, creating a warm, inviting atmosphere. I do, I do like the inviting atmosphere. Um, but yes, another, uh, I guess, a little kind of intro to myself for any other newcomers to the channel. Um... I will say, for for my playthroughs, I tend to be kind of slow and thorough with a lot of these kinds of things, so don't expect me to be uh, flying through the game by any means. I like to most definitely take my time, enjoy every little step that I can, and get absolutely the most out of these games. Um, I will continue that in a moment, but let's try to talk to all these people that we can. Sentinel Ben, food at the root barracks has become pretty stale lately. Luckily, my sister brought me some fresh insect eggs this morning. Hopefully, that's not what I just stole from you. Uh, Sentinel Ade, uh, my wife can make a mean pixie omelet. Uh, maybe she can share some omelets with that guy because he seems kind of down bad. Uh, Sentinel Pav, all you need for speedy repairs is a good builder's hammer. That's good to know. Mold, mold everywhere. Yeah, that is that is something to be uh, a little concerned about. All right, and Sentinel Cower. Make sure to search out these owl effigies for useful info. Yes, we did already learn that, and I don't think I can loot that. That looks too decorative. Um, and that kind of the same, but that is a tasty-looking roasted mushroom. It's a very dirty looking but comfy looking couch. Uh, how do you guys feel? Uh, good luck in the Overland, Vanguard. Keep your wits about you and stay frosty. Uh, may the Sacred Owl be with you, Vanguard. Alright, two more people right here. Uh, be careful, Vanguard. There are some nasty creatures out there. And have you heard about the Queen? I pray to the Sacred Owl she makes a full recovery. Um, but yeah, I guess uh, kind of the other thing that I really like to do in my playthroughs, although um, I haven't done it quite as much um, as I really would have liked in a couple of them, uh, but I, I really love to um, build in particular out of uh, a lot of activities in these survival games, so I'm really excited uh, to see kind of what the building mechanics are. Um, base building is definitely one of my favorite activities, and I'm going to be really curious kind of what incentives there are to do base building um, here in Small Land. Uh, Sentinel Artur, I wish I was on a night watch duty. The Overland is a dangerous enough place during the day. Alright, so we might be getting more dangerous creatures at night. Uh, Captain Hearn is stationed downhill from here. You should go and introduce yourself. That is my plan. But there are things to gather first, sir. Must get all of the things, and there are owls to talk to. You can lose health due to a variety of factors. Being attacked by hostile creatures only makes sense. Extreme temperatures falling from a great height, or being malnourished. Now when it says great height, I'm going to be curious to see what that threshold is. On the bright side, you can recover health by using healing items, keeping yourself well nourished, or sleeping. 
Uh, sprinting, sliding, dodging, jumping, attacking, and blocking all consume stamina. Pay attention when it becomes low and manage it carefully to not leave yourself vulnerable. Alright, so stamina management is important. Missing any crucial resources. Man, that it's a bit bright when we go into that antenna mode. Any other things hiding back here? There's so much foliage, which is like really pretty, but it can make it a little hard to make sure I'm not missing like sprouts like these guys hiding right back here. Oh, and that one that I walked right past. And this one that I walked right past. But it does like lead to an extremely natural looking environment. And I know I did pass that owl. We can go right back to it. Okay. Uh, press M to open up the map and see your position in the overland. The map will show you the location of other vanguards. Your spawn location, your gravestones, and any custom markers you add. By selecting a marker, you can make it appear on the compass at the top of your screen. All right. Okay, so a pretty good amount of map already revealed. I'm curious if that is like all that there is right now, and then they're leaving like the rest of this kind of parchment for future updates. Again, knowing that we're in early access. And then if I select him, uh, yes, he is showing up on the compass there at the top. Very cool. Um, ba ba ba. Any more goodies? Like, I love all the flowers and stuff around. It just is very nice. Nice environmental stuff. Alright, Owl, what do you have to say? Armor provides protection against different types of damage and can also keep you warm in cold weather. Some settlers in the Overland have expertise to make new sets of armor for you, provided you give them the required materials. So I'm curious if that means we can't make our own new armor, or if, like, I'm just gonna take these. You don't care, do you? Can I take that? That looks impressive. Are these... Whoa! That was fun. Um, anything else back here? At least some sticks. Oh, hello, butterflies. I hope you're friendly. Um, oh, and then I walked right past some more. Okay. Uh, let's talk to this owl. Uh, make sure to eat and drink regularly. Being well nourished will make you more resilient and energetic as well as stronger in combat. You can find delicious berries in the forest, hunt creatures of the overland for food, or even cook your own meals. You can eat raw food or prepare it and other consumables using different types of cooking stations for a wide range of benefits. Keep an eye out for tasty recipes. All right, Captain. Greetings, Vanguard! Welcome to the Overland. I am Captain Ernest Manikabi, but most small folks simply call me Hearn. What can I do for you? Alright, let's ask the old Captain some questions. What's the Overland? The Overland is what we call the world on the surface, a very dangerous place. Here you won't find all the comforts of the burrows, you'll have to find food and Construct shelter to survive. What tools should I craft? I suggest you start by crafting a wood club, a builder's hammer to build yourself a shelter, and a wood hatchet to harvest food and other natural resources from the overland. You can craft these basic items without a workbench. You just need to have enough materials. The oak forest is rich in fiber and wood, so keep your eyes peeled for them. You can also get useful resources from hunting creatures. Uh, how do I build myself a shelter? First, you need to craft a builder's hammer. Once you have one, you can equip it to start building. Beware, weather in the overland can damage your constructions unless they're covered by a roof. 
Uh, you'll find food all around you. You just have to learn what can be eaten and what can't. Mushrooms and wild strawberries can be found right here in this very forest if you know where to look. You can also hunt the creatures of the woods. Some of them can be very tasty. Creatures, yuck! Sacred Owl Vanguard, have you never eaten anything but leaves? Some creature organs are delicious, and if you don't like them raw, you can always cook them. You should build yourself a campfire and try. Build a campfire? First, you need uh, to craft a builder's hammer. Once you have one, you can equip it to start building. Beware, the weather in the overland can damage your constructions unless they're covered by a roof. Uh, let's ask other questions. Um, can you craft armor for me? Uh, da, 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 da. We've got a few options. Um... Okay, so it's looking to me like, for the most part, these are all... This is two sets, I think. Yeah. There's the padded armor and the light armor. And I guess other than the light gauntlets, everything gives one protection. The light has 90 durability with 2% movement speed. The padded has 9 cold protection with 110 durability. Um... It's going to take a lot of fiber. Maybe we come back and get some of this, because it looks like we're already wearing some stuff. I guess it doesn't have any protection, but it at least has cold protection. Um, so I think we'll just maybe... Oh, I didn't mean to exit out of his dialogue, but I think we'll maybe come back for that, because I don't want to burn through all of our fiber. I don't even think we have enough for a full set of armor at the moment. Um, I was told to report to you for my assignment. Ah, uh, yes, I've ex been expecting you. The Elder, Ludwig, has requested your presence. Go see him at once. He is staying in the cave just down the hill. Thank you, Captain. All right, so we don't need to... I think I'm too close. Um, we'll highlight him, and I can't unhighlight Hearn at the moment, but that is okay, and I've been talking to him for far too long. Let's just keep gathering resources. Go. Some nice s soothing sounding thunder. Oh, owl effigy. Stay away from deep water. Small folk can't swim. That is good to know. Upon death, you will respawn at your activated bed or spawn location. The tombstone will appear where you died. You must travel back to it to reclaim your inventory. So same kind of system as grounded before the December update, I believe. Um, get that fiber. Yeah, I really wish you could just run over the dropped materials, because it's like we, we do click harvest. So it does feel like a little bit of duplicated effort to then also have to click. But maybe that'll be something they change again. This is still early access. Oh, this is the effigy summoning me. Uh, temperature will generally drop at night and rise in the afternoon. Also, some creatures of the overland are nocturnal and will only come out at night. So that guard was indeed... <clears throat> Our assumption from that guard was correct. Um, watch out as night creatures are generally more dangerous than their daytime counterparts. Build a bed to set a new spawn point and have a place to sleep. You can only sleep at night, and for you to fall asleep, you must be sheltered, and there must be no hostile creatures around. 
helpful. We will definitely want to build a shelter soon then, but let's go talk to this man first. And I think that we may just have to kind of endure one night already since I spent too long talking to the captain. All right. Hello, Mr. Elder. Vanguard, finally you're here. What are you doing here? The jeweled clover key that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen. We're here trying to find some other means of opening the chest. Who's the apothecary? Melkar was the royal family's personal apothecary. This cave we're standing in was his personal laboratory here in the Overland. He would spend countless days searching the Overland for rare ingredients to use in his potions. What's in the chest? Melkar, the apothecary's greatest achievement, the elixir of life. He claimed it could heal any ailment known to small folk. Do you have any idea who might have taken it? The key was locked in the royal vault, which is always under heavy guard. Only the king and I are allowed entry. The theft was noticed when the queen became ill and the clover key was needed, but it could have happened some time ago. Have you tried forcing the chest? We dare not! The chest is heavily reinforced and we would risk destroying the elixir within. I was told you requested my presence, Elder. Ah, uh, yes. We received troubling reports from the Overland settlers in the forest. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. Seek out these settlers and investigate their claims. Does this have anything to do with the Clover Key? It is an interesting coincidence, but we have no evidence to suggest there is a con con connection. Blah, blah, blah. You'll find the settlers scattered throughout the forest, so I have marked their locations on your map. Be careful, Vanguard. The wilderness is filled with danger. Hearn and Kalev can help you survive here in the Overland. I shall leave. But not before I look around, because this place is interesting. That is a really, really cool little dresser storage thing. I wonder if we get to make something like that at some point. This guy's even got his own little supply of wood and sprigs in here. Alright, so this is the chest. Looks like a chest made out of a walnut. On the back, there are hinges. On the front, it has strange cavity in the shape of a four-leaf clover. Let's try to open it. You try to force the chest, but it won't budge. Let's examine the chest. Uh, right. Let's examine the cavity. Uh, you run your hands over the four-leaf clover cavity. The bottom section moves slightly when you press it. Let's push it. Nothing happens. All right. Wait, what was that? No. Ah, it was wood. It's just dark in here. All right. Oh. Oh, oh. Fiber! Alright. Well, let's head out of this cave, and we will figure out what to do. Oh, no! It looks like we are, like, starving. Um, okay. So let's see what we can do here in our inventory. Oh, it looks like we have some stuff that I didn't make. So we've already got a club. We've already got bandages. I'm gonna stick those over here. We've already got food. Since we're, like, starving already, we're gonna just munch on those because oh my gosh we were like about to die um let's go ahead and wait can i ah i was hitting unequip we're gonna use both of those <laughs> whoops um okay let's even go ahead and eat these, because I was being not smart. Uh, okay. So, we were told that we want a wood hatchet and a builder's hammer. 
Um, that all seems reasonable. And... Okay, we still have some blackberries for some food. I'll throw those in there. And we're starting to get a good amount of resources. That all looks pretty good to me. And our, our health and food and everything is uh, is recovering. And I think it's looking like a decent-ish time of day. Oh, and we just unlocked a whole bunch of, of stuff. Um, Alright, so I'm just going to keep kind of gathering some resources. And if we take a look at our map... Um, Alright, so here's Caleb. And that was one person we were told to... Told to kind of talk to. And then we have one other person on our map. Right at the edge of... Oh, no, we have two people on our map. One who's off the edge of the world. So, I'm guessing that this is not the entire map. Um, so maybe we head west-ish. Um, I mean, this seems to be a path here, so... Let's follow it. Okay, lots of resin. Ooh, lots of sprouts and twigs here. Good, good, good. Because we are going to want to build shelter so that we have a place to sleep. Especially knowing that temperature can be a problem in this game. That's definitely a new one for at least the games that we have been playing here on the channel so far. So obviously not like a new concept for survival games in general. Uh, wait, were those highlighted? They are! Oh, and there's some sprouts. Um, okay. Needs a hatchet. I have a hatchet! Ha! Ooh, that gave me three mushrooms. Nice. Um, where is this? There we go. Is there more? Ha ha! Very good. Um, ooh! Big owl. That's no ordinary owl effigy. Um, alrighty. So, our guy is over there somewhere. But we can't swim. Um, excuse me, butterflies. Can you give us a ride? Uh, oh, here's an owl. Hello, Owl. Precipitation such as rain or snow can damage structures, so make sure your constructions are properly roofed to protect them from the elements. Rain also makes plants and mushrooms grow back faster after you harvest them. Furthermore, weather affects temperatures, so be sure to always wear appropriate clothing. Interesting stuff. Let's keep chopping down some mushrooms. Is that a cave? No, it's a little nook in the rock. I think. Yeah, it's just a little nook in the rock. Okay. But I feel like it's going to be smart for us to just chop as many of these down as we can. I don't know if food goes bad. But if we have these chopped... Wait. Is there another one hiding? Oh, okay. If we have them chopped, then they can grow back regardless. Um, I want that. There we go. Wait, was there something else over here? Oh, lots of sticks. Nice. I was gonna 
to say, I don't know how much resin we still need. I feel like some of these other resources are going to be much more helpful. Um, but yeah, I think that right now, finding a good spot... Maybe to build... Ooh, ladybugs. Hello. Finding a good spot to build could be good, although if we can make it over to... Uh, to what's-his-name? Uh, Caleb. That would also be not bad. Needs a crude hatchet or better. Okay, so that's probable, just not with what we have. Um, alright. Oh, no! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, gosh, our health is low, but I think we got it. All right. Uh, we're out of bandages. Uh, all right. That could have gone better, but we also could have died. Uh, there's five distinct weapon types your vanguard can wield. Blunt, edge, pierce, poison, and fire. There are creatures you encounter in the overland have different strengths and weaknesses when it comes to each. Pay attention to the icon next to their health bar, which determines which weapon type will be more effective. Um, okay. Well, we are on the brink of death. So maybe we just need to build a shelter that we can at least use as, like, a home base. Maybe just right around here. I mean, there's lots of mushrooms around here. That would be a good food source. This kind of looks like actually a great spot if this fern won't be a huge issue. Um, yeah, like right back in here. Wait, what's that? Is that a secret tunnel? Um, well, building near secret tunnels might be risky. But we're going to try it. So, foundation. gonna go oh cool that actually got rid of the grass there so we can see a little bit better uh oh uh oh uh oh it's getting dark um building honestly i think we're gonna want a lot of windows i think that would yeah i think that's the outside Like that. Maybe we put a side door right there. And then the back, we'll just do walls. And we'll do another door there. And then let's just do boring straight roofs. some corners that one will do that one will do that one will do that one will do and then we need a peak um i guess our peak is flat perfect uh, doors are nice. Uh, 
Excellent. We have a structure. Um, let's get a bed. And... Oh, cool. Um... So we can put, actually, the bed on the wall if we wanted to. Let's do that, because why not? And then activate spawn point. Um... Except I'm dying right now. So, oh wait, wait, wait! Light, light is good. Wait, I actually select that properly. Is that only? Yeah, that did not work how I wanted it to. Uh, let's just do that. We need a workbench. That looks good. Ooh, a stone cutter now. I don't have stone stuff. Uh, we've got our bed. Ooh, a simple chest. That seems like a good idea. Which way is the front? Probably that. That looks like a handle. Okay, we got so many resources that I'm still able to just keep building. Um... And then a fire? I don't know if smoke is going to be an issue. Um, where's that one, Torch? Let's dismantle you. And then... Let's just... Oh, it's not nighttime right now. Very interesting. Um, I don't know if any of this needs repairs or not. I know it was exposed to rain briefly while I didn't have the roof in. Um, okay. Uh, ooh, I can eat these real quick. That should help. And then let's use this and just see what else I can make. Wood sword seems like maybe a good idea. Bow, arrow, a pet whistle. A ladybug trout. Okay, we need a pet ladybug ASAP. A mandibular pickaxe. I need bull ant mandibles. Okay, so that's how we get rock. And chitin. I wonder what I get chitin from. <gasps> Bandages! Yes! Alright, we'll just put those right there and let's bandage up so I'm not dying. Oh yeah. There we go. Death is averted. Hey, and I think it stopped raining. Alright, is there anything else that we need to build while we can? I wonder what the star means. I wonder if that's like recommended? Ooh, what's that? Wait. Leaves roof chimney? So maybe we can... Ooh. 
Whoa, that's an impressive chimney. Okay, maybe we can do a fire inside. And there would be smoke. Uh, I'm gonna try it and see what happens. So far, nothing bad. And if something bad happens, we'll swap out our roof type. Um, okay. Uh, we can have a... An ant skewer or a mushroom steak. Well, we've got a lot of mushrooms. Let's make some mushroom steaks. Alright, we've got a bunch of mushroom steaks now. Uh, and I guess we may as well do an ant skewer? Cool. And it's looking like a beautiful day outside. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. We need stairs. Stairs. Yes. Hopefully those won't get too damaged. We'll see. Um, ooh, and then what were the decoration items? Yeah, and how do I... Oh, wait, wait, wait. T? Uh... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We're not gonna worry about it. I feel like I should be able to put that torch on a wall sticking out, but... Um, oh, cool. So here's our storage. Um, oh, and so, th okay, this is like hydration stuff. We've got all of our resin. We've got sticks and fiber. That's our bandages. That's our food. And then that is an ant skewer. Okay, so I think we don't need to put anything in the chests for now, but honestly, just using the chests to make stuff is good. Um, oh, we could make a cap table. That looks so cool. Okay, I, I like it. I like it. All right, so we probably need to make some more... Um, tools slash weapons because I think that a pickaxe is going to really help us. Um, so we can we we can't make the bow at the moment. We're low on fiber, but I can make a sword at least because that does 8 to 11 damage compared to 6 to 8 damage or 4 to 6 damage. So let's definitely get a sword going. And I'm just going to maybe do that instead of my club. And maybe we'll just have the... Oops. We'll have the club on here just in case. And then once we get some more resources, we can make a bow and arrow. But look at that. We've got a nice, kind of boring, but fully functional little house. Um, so let's just gather a few more resources. And then maybe we can find what we need to make a few more better tools. Um, so I think, like, chopping down some mushrooms seems like a good idea. And then maybe we can figure out how we, like, get a little pet ladybug. Oh no! I didn't mean to hit you! I was trying to chop down a mushroom! Um, hello, ladybug. Hello, ladybug. 
Can I feed you something? Or something, maybe? Hello, ladybug. Uh, oh. Hello. Nope, I just ate that on my own. Okay. I was thinking maybe I could just like walk up to it and feed it a steak. But, you know. Oh, here's an owl. What do you have to say? If you die, you drop everything except what you're holding or wearing. You can retrieve it if you make it back to your tombstone. Okay, so that's basically what the other owl said, I've said, I feel like. Um, that looks like some terrifying water that we're not going to go on. Um, Alright, I don't think there's anything for us right down there. So many ladybugs here. We'll, we'll figure them out at some point. But for now, some good food. There's some more wood, and then we just need to find some more sprigs. Yeah, hi. You wanna come here? No? Okay. I don't know how to tame you. Here we go. There's the, the sprouts. I just want to call them sprigs because it grounded. It's just going to happen, and I apologize for anyone that it bothers. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Ah. Uh, oh, there's another one. Okay. Yeah, hi. No? Okay. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Some more fiber. Oh, we do need to remember at some point we can always go back to the captain and get uh, some different armors. But right now, I want my fiber for my own purposes. That's a pretty good load of material. Maybe we can go back, make some bow and arrow, and then sleep. And then see in the morning if maybe we could find some bugs to take on. And, uh... Get that pickaxe. If I can find my house, that will be the one... Problem. Ooh, I see some glowing. I probably should put some torches outside. Oh, do the ladybugs live in there? Okay, so, I want a bow, and I would like arrows. Oh, 
Oh, wow, so, okay, that's making ten at a time. I think that's probably good, then. Alright, so let's go sword, bow, axe, hammer, food, bandage. And we can make some more mushroom steaks. All right, and let's go ahead and snooze. Ooh, I fall into a deep slumber. And I feel rested and hungry. All right, well, as far as the hunger part goes, let's eat some mushroom steaks. Maybe I should eat one of those. It talks about nourishment a lot and the intro things, so I don't know if I need to be eating, like, a variety of foods. Or if that matters at all. Hello, ladybugs. Good morning. Oh, that leaf is not stable. Um, alright. So, we're gonna... Oh, I think I have to equip... the arrows as well. So let's, let's explore this way today. Maybe we'll at least find some more owl statues. Oh, that looks like an ant. Um. That was a really bad shot. Oh, no. Ah! Run away, run away, run away. Wait, where'd it go? Come back! Somehow it's not aggroing. Let's go. Ha ha! <gasps> we got the mandible. We got two mandibles. I think we can make the pickaxe. Oh. That maybe looks like an ant colony. Are there more? I think there are. Bow. I'm already way too confident. Oh, yeah, yeah, see, there's, there's, like, stuff. Oh, no, I can't go in there. All right, maybe that's where it lived. Okay. Uh, well, let's try to go back and make that pick, and maybe I just take some of these mushrooms with me on the way. Because mushrooms seem to be my primary food source at the moment. And I'm glad that there's at least a lot around here right by where I've chosen to build to begin with. I'll also be very curious when I get more building materials, because, like, right now, I'm not really worried about making a pretty base. Because I only have grass to work with. And so, it's not as easy to make a nice-looking base. 
not as fun, really, to, I should say. It's just because it isn't easy doesn't mean it's not worthwhile. But it's not very exciting. I, okay, I need a flint hatchet for that one. Interesting. But I do love the, like, art style of their little building pieces. I think that's very cool. Um, okay. Let's see, let's see. I want to come here. And make a mandibular pickaxe. And let's put that, I guess, right there. I accidentally clicked. But that works. Uh, what else did I get? I got something else. Uh, maybe it was just the ant head? So I don't think I got any... chitin or anything. I don't know what I get that from. Uh, can I repair tools? That is a question. Um... Maybe not. Interesting. Interesting. Um, I can always make a new axe on the go. So, let's try to find a rock that I can, uh, break open. Oh, my mushrooms right here grew back. That's good to see. That really did not take long at all. That's the river. I don't want to do that. Um, I feel like going back to the start area probably isn't the best place to find rocks. Like, I feel like that rock, like, right there is what I want, but... Jumping into the water also seems like a bad plan. Can I harvest you? Can I harvest you? I mean, this guy had harvestable material materials, materials in his little hut. So we could check, but that's looking like a no. Oh, I know what I should do. I need to do this. Use my resource radar. Uh-oh, the carpenter ant is coming. did hurt a lot. Those guys are tough just because they swarm. 
Let's throw a bandage on just to be safe. Resin, sprouts. Any rocks? Stone! it makes sense. Go to the riverbank. That would be full of stones. Whoa, there's like rusty uh, bolts down here too. That's familiar. Oh, and I can just pick them up. for you this time. Alright, sword is definitely the way to go. With, uh, those... Ooh, bottle cap, bottle cap, bottle cap! Yes, we can make a bottle cap table. Look at all the baby clovers. Alright, well, let's go see what we can make with, uh... Oh, we're gonna have to deal with a few more ants. But let's go see what we can make. I'm gonna see if we can read this real quick. Alright, equipment deteriorates with use and will progressively lose effectiveness. Make sure to keep your equipment in good order by repairing it. Okay, you can repair at the workbench. Alright, well, well, we'll see if we can figure out repairs at the workbench. And see what we can make with stone. And then that is probably gonna need to be just about it for this first episode here in small land uh, i am definitely enjoying this a lot so far um again it's gonna be hard to not have a ton of comparisons here and there to ground it but it definitely feels very different uh even though you know the kind of premise of tiny survival game is uh, is shared by both um, but it definitely has its own distinct feel and I am really liking it um, okay so how do I repair repair it's a big tab up top Ah, so if they're only slightly damaged, it's free. And if it's more damaged, then it costs more. That makes sense. Okay. All right, so crafting. Anything that we can do with stone. Uh, oh, it might be that other workstation. Uh, let's see. If we pull out our build hammer, let's equip it. That would be a interactive stone cutter. There we go. Wait, but I have stone. Wait, did I? Where? Where? Uh, oh, I I used all my stone to make the stone cutter. I'm like, wait, I had stone. Why are you saying this? Um, gotcha, gotcha, 
gotcha, gotcha. Oh, man. Refined wood. Wood plus seed oil. Okay. Where do we get flint? Flint stuff looks awesome. Stone brick. Okay, so yeah, I bet that like refined wood and stone brick is going to be how we make um, some better building materials. Well, that looks... Oh, a wooden chest. Buildable structure. Oh yeah, we got a bunch of new stuff. Oh yeah. So a cauldron, a heated stone pot over a blazing fire. We got the apothecary table for creating potions. The tannery to refine t hides. A covered bed for better sleeping place. And the wooden chest. Oh, look at that! Oh, yes! Oh, that takes a garlic leaf. Very interesting. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be great. I... I'm excited. I can definitely see where people were saying... Um... Like, some of the few few reviews that I was seeing kind of beforehand, because, again, I was mostly trying to avoid things. Um, but where there was some Valheim influence in this, and I, I am now totally seeing it. And, uh, oh my gosh, that is going to be so cool. We are definitely going to need more space. Um, this is totally going to work as far as just our little starter area, um, but we're going to need to find a better place to be building long term um, because we are already kind of going to be filling this place up as soon as we build like one more of those workstations. Uh, but that is super cool. Um, well, I am enjoying this a lot, so I am going to try to get this... Uh, uploaded and posted for you all to enjoy as soon as possible and um i think that we should be able to get another one of these episodes out for all of you to enjoy tomorrow as well um basically my plan here with the series is that um i am hoping that we should um uh basically while the game here is still um nice and new um i'm gonna be trying to play this as much as I possibly can so here for the next week or so um, I'm gonna be posting a bunch of videos here on small land um, but then after that we're probably gonna kind of uh, settle back into our normal kind of weekly routine um, so definitely still be uh, expecting our our normal uh, weekly grounded and raft videos um, but we're gonna be slotting small land here into the mix as well um, but here for a little bit I am just uh, basically too uh, antsy, pardon the pun, uh, to be continuing on with the game to wait another week before we get um, another episode in. So uh, here for the next few days, we are going to be uh, having some daily videos for you all. Um, so uh, yeah, for anybody who is um, new here with the new series, uh, first of all, welcome to the channel, um, but definitely make sure that you guys um, subscribe so that you can uh, find your way back here for all of the upcoming episodes. Um, if you did enjoy today's video, be sure to leave a like. It'll help the channel and the series to um, make its way through the YouTube algorithm uh, to all the new people and um, help others to discover the series. And um, other than that, I hope that you guys have a fantastic day, and I will see you all again very soon for some more Small Land.